Hey everyone, uh, we gotta talk about something a little serious today because I want to protect all of you. I want to save you some time. I want to save you some money. I want to make sure that as we head into essentially what I'm sort of calling prime giveaway season, uh, that we do not have to deal with the disappointment of hundreds, maybe even thousands of people getting scammed right here on YouTube. Because frankly, it's not my fault, but I feel like with a certain event coming up called Prime Gaming Fest, now this is gonna be more prevalent than ever. Now, this is an issue we've talked about on YouTube before, but I'm gonna tell you what you can do to actually help us out today uh, and help out people in the future and help out everyone on this platform because for those who don't know, YouTube isn't really ran by people. I mean, there is, there's Susan Wojcicki, who is the CEO, uh, and there are actual developers and customer support people that you, <laughs> after several conversations, can actually get a hold of someone and not talk to a bot. But the whole of YouTube is actually ran by, well, artificial intelligence. And if you don't know what artificial intelligence is, I don't know what year you're living in here. Uh, we've had a number of, 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 of movies out there about the robots taking over. But essentially, the entirety of YouTube is ran by an algorithm that's ever evolving based on the way people interact with YouTube. This is what determines if videos get views and a whole bunch of other stuff. But what also helps, and this is just dealing with you know the scam in this case that we're going to get to in a moment, is if you guys perform these certain actions over and over and over, over again, what it's going to do is teach the algorithm that comments and, and things like this are not actual people and thus get YouTube's algorithm and their AI to actually do something about it. Now, what are we talking about? Of course, we're talking about the comments that pop up on my channel and many others uh, saying that you've won something. They will respond to your comment and, you know, dozens of others, sometimes hundreds of other comments on a particular video, and they will say, congratulations, you have won, please contact us on Telegram or WhatsApp, and then, uh, you know, if you do go through and actually contact them on Telegram and WhatsApp, because by the way, they pretend to be, you know, the same YouTuber that, you know, posted the video, or they pretend to be related, more popular YouTubers, Mr. Beast, RG85 uh, is dealing with this almost on every single video, his channel is really getting hit hard, we've had it happen on our channel a number of times as well, and I just saw a comment yesterday uh, doing the same thing, and it gets to a point that's really frustrating because when people actually get a hold of these accounts, they'll tell them they won. Sometimes they'll promise them a PlayStation 5 or, you know, some other, you know, big giveaway. We've done cash giveaways before. Some of them, oh, you've won $1,000 cash. And for a channel like mine, it kind of sounds believable because we do giveaways all the time. And because of this, some people buy into it and they're like, oh, we just need to, we just need shipping information, right? We just need not only your shipping details, but we need you to pay for shipping. And you know, in the past, I've talked about how I've considered making people that say, I don't know, win a $500 PlayStation 5, I buy it locally, that I have to ship overseas. You know, I've talked about having them pay for shipping before, which might lead people to believe that, hey, uh, we should uh, we should be, you know, expected to pay for shipping, especially if I'm from the UK. Yeah, I got to pay for shipping to get that PS5 over here because it's too expensive. And what happens is the moment you pay them, they stop talking to you, the account gets deleted, and they go about their day, and you've just been scammed out of your money, and there really isn't a whole lot you can do about it. Now, I do obviously say, hey, use PayPal or some other means where you get a little bit of protection against fraud. But the bottom line is, yeah, this is going to be a problem. And we have a massive giveaway co event coming up a month from now. I mean, we're not that far away. It's literally happening like the second week of June. You know, we, on the 12th, we have the Xbox Bethesda press conference. We'll be doing giveaways around that event. And there's so much craziness happening for Prime Gaming Fest that it's going to become prime time for people to get scammed basically from now until then especially as we start talking more and more about the stuff that we're going to be giving away because we have a large number of items that we're going to be giving away 99 percent of them haven't been announced and because of that it's going to lead to more and more of these scams happening and the biggest fear i have is actually what happened or almost happened uh to someone over at rgt's channel he actually put a video up about this today which ironically just provided more support to what I was already planning to do today and it was basically where a child a literal child uh believed you know or you know and, and contacted this person on whatsapp and you know they said hey you know you got sent some shipping money or whatever and he said well I talked to my mom she said it's a scam and somehow the grandma got involved um and 
yeah, obviously in this case, you know, the, the grandma realized it was a scam and nothing, nothing happened. Uh, but the person went as far as to be like, Hey, you know, uh, I, I, I swear upon God, uh, that this is real. Um, and obviously, you know, the child, you know, maybe being from a religious family, uh, was like, man, I really like your morals and stuff like that. It's, it, it was a really sad story because this is just someone that didn't actually get scammed, uh, but almost did because of a child and really believing this WhatsApp. And obviously children are going to be more susceptible, uh, but unfortunately this is going to keep happening and it doesn't seem to matter how many YouTubers draw attention to it. So I actually, instead of just saying, hey, this is happening, watch out, don't fall for it. I instead want to implore my community, whether it's on my channel or watching others, to take action. And what's that action? Because by the way, I've banned WhatsApp and various um, alternative names of it on my channel. I've also banned various alternatives of Telegram. And unfortunately, they still happen. They somehow find a way around these ban evasions. So it doesn't really seem to matter. And obviously, you know, I ban the accounts when I see them. But before I ban them, it's actually more important than me banning accounts because I don't think the YouTube algorithm cares if you ban accounts. They'll just think, oh, that someone's just talking crap on your channel. The algorithm doesn't care about that. But what they do care about are reports. I have seen this myself. If someone gets reported enough, the algorithm will catch on and start to get rid of similar saying things like that. So instead of me running around banning all these accounts, I'm going to implore my community to actually use the report function on YouTube. For every comment on YouTube, whether you're on a phone, whether you're at a computer, it doesn't really matter. There is a report feature. Now, sometimes depending on what you're on, it'll give you different report options. Like when I'm on my desktop and I hit report, I could select different th reasons I'm reporting this comment. It could be for spam, which is often what the one I select in this case. Obviously, when we have someone pop up in our... Um, in our uh, live streams that that's that's doing one of those over 18 spams uh you know I, I report that as sexual content or something like that but uh reporting is a functionality we all have and reporting does train the youtube algorithm which is completely run by artificial intelligence to start to recognize what's legitimate comments versus what is spam and the more of this stuff that we report the more and more it's going to be caught and the more and more the algorithm is eventually going to figure out hey these are not real people so what can we do to stop this Simple, report the comments as spam as much as possible. Just requesting that the YouTuber starts banning the accounts will not solve the problem as this is a literal spam issue that's all across YouTube and has been really prevalent over the last year. And as we have a massive giveaway event coming up, I am more worried than ever that a lot of you and maybe even brand new viewers, children in particular, becoming susceptible to being scammed. We could talk about how my giveaways are done. Oh, glean that IO viral so giveaway at Nintendo Prime Red Net. We could talk about all of that, but none of that really matters because it doesn't matter how much I bring up how my giveaways are done. New susceptible viewers are likely to be scammed, especially when they know we're giving away hundreds of items and thousands of dollars worth of stuff in various ways from live streams to giveaway links. People are going to be like, oh, this is just another way Nintendo Prime is giving something away. Oh, it wouldn't be surprising to us if he was giving away a $500 PlayStation 5 and said something to me in the comment section. Like, it wouldn't be shocking to a lot of people because of the frequency. So this is the time from now through the really... The rest of the time, anytime you see these comments on any video, be it mine or anyone else's on YouTube, please report them. That is the only way we as a community can bring a stop to this. Uh, because I don't want to see any more people get scammed. I don't want to hear stories. You know, I had someone actually at my channel months ago um, send hundreds of dollars for overseas shipping uh, and then demand I pay them back. And it, they didn't even talk to me. It, it wasn't me. Then they found an alternative way to contact me, my email that's publicly available. And yeah, I had to explain to them that it was, wasn't me, which of course they didn't believe. They thought I was just scamming them, which I mean, I, I'm, I, didn't, know, I didn't know what to say. It, it's one of those, this person truly believed they were talking to me, truly believed I scammed them out of hundreds of dollars. And it's like, but... But, but that's not how I do giveaways. And I have a publicly, you know, my giveaways are publicly tracked. And you can tell that this, I don't tell people to contact me on WhatsApp and Telegram. Obviously, my goal here is I just don't want anyone to get scammed. And I want us to help make YouTube a better place for everyone. Uh, there's no one size fits all solution to this. And I feel like it's going to be a problem we're going to be dealing with for a long time. But hopefully through interactions of the community, I have YouTube at whole. And I really hope other creators, um, you know, really push this as well. 
We got to take advantage of the given tools YouTube has. Speaking of the given tools YouTube has, they have added a new uh, raid feature uh, to live stream. So who knows? We have a podcast tonight with some fairly big topics we're going to be talking about. Uh, Sony might be buying Square Enix. Hey, uh, that's a big deal. We got to talk about that on the podcast tonight, uh, along with many, many other things. Uh, so hopefully I'll see all you guys there. Anyways, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. Uh, I probably have at least another video for you guys today. I am working on gathering up a bunch of Nintendo news, uh, but this is what you have until then. So uh, see you guys uh, soon. Bye.